Welcome to episode 173, Horst Powerman from German refugee immigrant to richest man in Chile. This is an outline of episode 173. There are three reasons why we study Horst Powerman. First, he's the richest Chilean and the richest self-made billionaire in Chile. Second, he arrived in 1952 in Chile as refugee immigrant. Third, he is the retail king of South America. Let us meet Horst Paulman. Familia de éxito y pensamos de hacer la OPA y quitárselo al casino. Pero al final no tuvimos el apoyo de algunos colombianos, venían muchas acciones, se mejor con la francesa. Y... This is the Grand Torre of Santiago. Es el edificio más alto de Sudamérica. Aún no se termina, pero desde hace años se habla de él. Para muchos, sintetiza el poder y estilo de su dueño, el empresario chileno-alemán Horst Paulman, propietario del 65% de Sencosud. Here's the inside of the Constanera Mall, the largest mall in South America. It is in the same building as the Grand Torre of Santiago. Now we go to the top of the Grand Torre of Santiago. Where you can have the best view of San Diego. I love those snowy mountains. Now, the great secret. His father was an SS judge and was a Nazi in World War II. Here are some pictures of Carl Werner Paulman, his father. Horst Paulman was born in Kessel, Germany in 1935. In 1948, at the age of 12, he crossed border to the Alps by foot with his family. In 1952, the Palman family ended up in Tambuco, Chile. Here's a map of Tambuco, Chile and what the streets look like. In Tamico, Carl Werner Palman would operate a restaurant with his sons. In 1958, the father died. Hoss and brother Jürgen Paulman took over the family restaurant business. Three years later, in 1961, Hoss and Jürgen Paulman would turn the family restaurant into a supermarket in South Chile. Las Brises meaning the breeze in Spanish. In 1976, the big split came. Hoss Paulman would open his own hypermarket, Jumbo. His elder brother, Jürgen Paulman, who was a year older, would start a Delco. Here's a picture of Jürgen Paulman. Jürgen Paulman would later found Sky Airline of Chile. It's the first great step of his From 1976 to 2000, Jumbo kept growing and growing. Lo máximo en moda. Lo máximo en hogar. Lo máximo en supermercado. Lo máximo en cosméticos. In 1982, he opened his first Jumbo Hypermart in Argentina. In 2004, his holding company, Senko Suit, went IPO on the San Diego Stock Exchange. It was the largest IPO in the history of Chile. Next, growth through acquisitions, 2001 to the present. Here are his most important acquisitions. In 2007, he acquired Wong Supermarket in Peru for $500 million. <laughs> Fue difícil desprenderse de, digamos, una empresa que habían visto crecer desde sus orígenes. Sí, claro, pero... At the time, Wong was the largest retailer in Peru and had 44% of the total supermarket. His next acquisition, Carrefour of Colombia, in 2012, was even bigger. He paid $2.6 billion for Carrefour. For Colombia una operación que representa la mayor inversión en la historia de una empresa chilena en el exterior, con un costo de 2.600 millones de dólares. 
El dinero se obtuvo a través de un préstamo de JP Morgan y obligará a la compañía a realizar un nuevo aumento de capital, esta vez por 1.500 millones de dólares, además de la emisión de un bono por otros 1.000 millones para financiar la operación. Permitiría, ¿no es cierto?, tener... En eh... 2009, at the age of 74, he began to work on his legacy, building the tallest building in South America. Un holding que culmina por ahora en esta megatorre, a pesar de los retrasos y problemas. Es un proyecto extraordinario, yo estoy orgulloso con esto. Para quienes conocen el rubro, Sencosud no se concibe sin el estilo Paulman, el empresario que literalmente mira el país desde las alturas. Gran Torre de San Diego fue completada en 2012. And he is not slowing down. In 2012, at the age of 77, he took his company Cinco Sud public. In 2017, he is the retail king of South America. His company, Senko Sud, employs 140,000 people and is present in five countries. What have I learned today? First, he's a tireless man who started with one restaurant in Temuco and grew into the retail king of South America. Second, on his way to the top, his motto has been work, work, work. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Horst Palman, richest man in Chile, seven lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.